actual relationship that existed between the Cuban Revolution and Africa from almost the, the, uh, the beginning. The, the Cubans were very supportive of the Algerian struggle against the French, which succeeded in 1962. Um, they, uh, they went on to support the various anti-colonial uh, movements in Africa, including and particularly the anti-Portuguese movements in Guinea-Bissau, Angola and, and Mozambique. And they were uh, unquestioning in their support for the anti-apartheid struggle in, uh, in uh, South Africa. It's the Angolan struggle that receives a lot of attention. And one of the things that was not understood at the time by many of us in the United States, including many of us on the left, was that when Cuban troops went to Angola, they did not go at the behest of the Soviet Union. In fact, the Soviet Union was not in favor of Cuban troops going there. The Cubans went there uh, out of a, a sense of solidarity. I mean, they actually believed in solidarity. And they went there to stop the invasion that was in the process of taking place between uh, by the South African apartheid troops and their uh, allies in the FNLA and UNITA. Um, and so this relationship has been very, very strong. And you could tell in the words of the late President Mandela uh, that this bond, this love for the Cuban people and for the Cuban revolution, that bond also translated into a feeling in black America of, of a certain kind of bond, a certain support for the Cuban uh, revolution, feeling that this was a revolution that paid attention to Africa, but also paid attention to the struggle around racism within Cuba, although, obviously, there were certain limitations to that. But I would say that Cuba probably made the greatest advances in the struggle around racism of any country in the Western Hemisphere.